Hello, I'm Mary V. Today, let's talk about exercising your fingers with finger drills. Finger drills are quite simple, but they really reveal the weaknesses in your left hand, um, how your fingers are going down and how your left hand is set up. So let's have a little look at some finger drills. So with a nice relaxed left hand, let's start a very easy one. So just separate bows and try to keep your fingers very close to the string doing this and try to keep your hand nice and relaxed. So slurred bowing next. So that kind of pattern will be the pattern for all finger drills. Start with a separate bow and then slurred and then the whole thing slurred. So let's go on to something a little more challenging for most people. Now this brings up a very interesting point about people with a small hand. You'll notice I'm using my first finger almost like a, a hinge to help me reach the fourth. I'm rocking my hand forward and I'm using my first finger as almost like a hinge. The first finger stays in place but the inside of it is sort of rocking inside the neck like that. Now that's because I have one of the shortest fourth fingers. <laughs> it's just very, very short and therefore I can't put my fingers down without moving my hand. But most people have a much longer pinky than me and it should be possible for you to just put your fingers down without having to rock your hand forward to accommodate their very short fourth finger. So the ideal with um, finger drills is to be able to put your fingers down equally no matter what pattern they're in. So I'll leave my fourth finger out and we'll just pretend that I'm using all my fingers are, are long enough so that my hand can just move like this. So the sort of kind of patterns that you can do are absolutely endless. Um, you can make up your own and you will usually find that your fourth finger is uh, very weak. <laughs> so you can do a lot with your fourth finger. So you can see that the ideal position is just to have your fingers hovering over the string and just put them down very simply, including your fourth finger. For example, most people find between a C natural and an E, that's one of the biggest uh, stretches that they're going to make. And that, that is a great one to do finger drills on. So it's really based on patterns. And as you go through patterns like try to make sure that your hand is in an ideal position all the time, that your fingers are just ready to go down very, very simply. They're hovering over the strings and that you can use all your fingers equally so you can really practice all the things to make your uh, fingers respond to the pattern that, that you want.
whatever shape your hand is, finger drills make your fingers very accurate, always ready to play in no matter what pattern. So be very careful about your intonation in finger drills. If your intonation is a bit off, then just do them slowly for a while. do a little bit of double stopping along the way with the open strings. So what you're doing in finger drills is teaching your fingers to go down the most efficient way you possibly can, no matter what pattern you give them. So finger patterns can really be anything, just in first position and all sorts of patterns, it's really up to your own creativity. But you'll soon find out what is difficult for you and try to make it easier by remembering to move your elbow, uh, no matter which string you're in, like that. That can make quite a big, big difference to your left hand if your um, elbow is stuck like that all the time, you might find it more difficult to play, to get in tune in the higher strings. Um, so remember to use your elbow and because you're doing that, that really helps um, to keep your thumb nice and loose. So that's a great exercise to get the hand set up nicely. Just make everything move around in a one so that you know you're not squeezing. So everyone has their personal difficulties with their left hand. It might be getting the first finger to move really easily because it's a bit too tight. Um, there's lots you can do about that. Just like that. So finger patterns are very good if you work them in with scales as well. You can see that the crucial point in um, scales in A major using the fourth finger is the relationship between the fourth and the first. So you can try D major. So you can see how um, different types of hands really need different kinds of finger drills. You can start slow, but try and get your finger drills nice and fast, uh, and you'll soon discover what your left hand is waiting for, which is to become nice and fluent, stronger feeling, um, and nice and accurate. So I hope you get on well with your own experiments, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Bye.